I think that might be it. Uh, actually, no, it's that one. You want to sit there? Oh, look at the size of that! Mike, Mike, what is that? All right, so three days exploring in beautiful New Zealand, and we have just arrived at the test and the start of Cosby World Tour New Zealand. What's up, Ken? <laughs> Finally get to get back in the race car. Beautiful spot here in the New Zealand countryside and a great road. Time to say bye to the bikes and load to the race car. Let's go check this thing out. So the last time you saw this was when we left it uh, in Missouri. Yeah, so we uh, had an engine issue. What, in stage three of Missouri? So I still only have about 50 miles in this car. So we get two days of testing here in New Zealand. Make sure the engine is working much better than it was in Missouri and get all the suspension setup testing done and diff testing done. So hopefully we can have a good weekend here in New Zealand. So this is uh, finally <laughs> stop two of the Kazi World Tour and Rally Fongare, which is one of my favorite events in the entire world. Last time I was here, I, I won it, but that was in a much more modern car. So we'll see how this car stacks up against the, the local cars here in New Zealand. And by the way, I don't have Alex today. So I gotta kind of memorize the road. Wait, wait, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> Typically rally cars have a co-driver. Alex is Ken's co-driver. You don't have Alex? No, he was uh, racing in the Olympus Rally in Washington this weekend, part of the ARA Championship. And he's probably on a plane right now on his way here. But today, no co-driver. So I gotta kind of memorize the road without a co-driver. Hopefully I can do that. If not, we'll throw someone else in the car to co-drive for me for a bit. Should be okay. We're mainly doing diff and suspension testing today, so not having a co-driver isn't ideal, but I should be able to deal with it. Oh yeah, good news. Uh, the rally car has the steering wheel on the left, so Ken's been driving around a Raptor, uh, Ranger Raptor all week with the steering wheel on the right. Now he's going back to his uh, left-hand drive rally car. All right, Ken's getting ready to go test. Let's uh, hopefully not walk in on him changing. <laughs> What's up, boss? <laughs> so I was going through my bag and uh, I totally forgot about this. Kai from Rocket Bunny, when I was at the Tokyo Auto Salon, gave me this. It's a good luck charm. And there's some instructions here I'll go through in a second, but that's what it looks like. So I have to put this in the car today. Super rad. It's like a Japanese good luck charm. With that came these instructions. This looks very official, Ken. Very, like, <laughs> handwritten. It says, Item name amulet. Amulet is a thing that a spirit of the whole world lived. Since ancient times in Japan, there is a legend that you can keep happiness by protecting peace of mind and safety of yourself with an amulet. Please use for the improvement of the quality of your life by all means. Awesome. <laughs> Attached to the mirror. Don't have a mirror in the car. Do not forcibly pull it. It's not food or drink. <laughs> <laughs> so don't eat it. <laughs> I'm going to try not to eat it. <laughs> Let's not handle it while driving. So we just need to find a good, safe spot for it uh, in the car. All right, man. That is pretty cool. So keep it nice. <laughs> find a good spot yep. in the car for it. Don't pull on it while driving. Keep your hands on <laughs> the don't, wheel. And don't eat it. In case you don't know who Kai is, Kai from Rocket Bunny. Obviously, Rocket Bunny is a big manufacturer of, you know, aero kits for a lot of cars out of Japan. But Kai actually... And his relationship with uh, Hoonigan Racing is that he came over and did the body kit on my Mark II Escort. So he flew in, scanned the entire car, designed the kit. He and I worked on some changes to it. And then he actually went back to Japan and had the kit built. So super rad. So I really like Kai. Thank you, Kai. Awesome. All right, I'll let you get dressed while you're at it there. Okay, thank you. Thanks to Kai, we have uh, your good luck charm right here. This is as close to a rear view mirror as I could get, and I figured you being a guy that's gonna be racing might not wanna have it hanging in your, in your vision. So there it is. Thanks again, Kai. Looking good, man. So Cosworth is moving. Um, we're going back to engine mapping with Julian to start out our very first gravel test of this car in New Zealand.
looks like Ken's maybe coming in with a right rear puncture, which is a product of testing. Why, hey, why didn't Greg change it? Oh, Derek, what are you paying him for? He's got the money in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, Greg did not do your job, apparently. You have to ask about that. Greggy, of all people, why didn't you hop on and change that tire, mate? Oh, we got all you guys to change that tire. <laughs> <laughs> Just drive it back. Just drive it back, he says. He's changed now, hasn't he? So he gets in the car once and... Uh, he'll have to have his chai tea now ready for him and his flipping uh, some oat bar or something like that to put energy. 1.5 when we went out. I think that might be it. Uh, actually, no, it's that one. Oh, uh, no, that I one. think it's that. Uh, I'm, no, I'm no expert. I have no idea. Was it a co-driving <laughs> error that caused this? Is that what that was? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that, that's one of the things about testing that you never know what can happen. I mean, I, I ended up very sideways through a corner heading towards the, the brush and uh, luckily was able to save it and stay on the road. But, you know, I had no idea that I had a puncture before that. So it, Oh wait, you know, so the oil, okay, so what you're saying is the puncture actually got you to come out a little wide. Oh, no, no, just sideways. Sideways, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sideways all the way through the corner and I just basically saved it, but I had no idea what had happened, you know, and then I turned around and tried to keep going down the stage just thinking, okay, maybe because we try, we're trying something stiffer with the suspension, so maybe it was a suspension issue, but then I started driving down the road and discovered, oh yeah, there's something wrong with the car and it's likely a puncture, so. But yeah, that's one of those things, like, it was a big moment, you know, it could have been a pretty big crash. All it was was a puncture, you know? That's right. That's all it takes. And I mean, and the amazing thing too, is that these tires, you know, obviously off the rim is a little different story, but they're actually really designed with the sidewalls are so rugged, they're designed to be driven on with little to no air for at least a couple miles. So yeah. if you guys have never seen a rally tire at home, these things are just incredible. They're super, super strong. So, all right, this is looking like some proper New Zealand catering here. What are you guys eating? Is this curry? Thai. Thai? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. We had Thai for dinner last night. <laughs> thai for lunch now. Wait, we actually have Thai food in the woods? Yes. This is incredible. Like meat served on wood platters? This is rally done right, man. This is, this is almost as good as that time we had no boot GRC. No, I quite seen it. All right, and so because we're in New Zealand, Ken's brought a special guest today. What up, Mike? What's up? Shh, don't tell the how, boys. How are you, man? I told them I'm shooting out for lunch. <laughs> They're actually back in the shop. We're filming during the Lambo. We've got like three days to get that thing in the container to head up to um, Goodwood Festival of Speed. But when Ken Block calls and says, come down for a ride. Speaking of. Turn that down. I What's up, man? I don't think we could get a test road much closer to your shop, though, can we? Yo, it's like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes down the road, and we're freaking That's here. That's amazing. He's got all those tracks right at his shop which i'm very jealous of because we have nothing like that and you have roads like this in your backyard dude like these roads are actually when i was a, when i was a teenager we used to actually break into these roads and yeah we would um come and this is where we learned our skills man like here in woodhall forest but we weren't hurting anyone except that <laughs> oh, look at the size of that i thought nothing could kill you here dude, no. mike, mike what is that man <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, there's nothing here. With oh. kids, you can see them off in the bush. The worst they'll get is like a mosquito bite or a honeybee. All right, so we got Mike getting suited up, getting ready to hop in the Cosworth to go for a ride with Ken for the first time. Freaking ready. Are you, are you ready? <laughs> but wait, I'm hopping on the right and there's no freaking steering wheel. <laughs>
the 90s, like absolutely insane. That's where just flat six for probably a good 20 seconds. When, when you when you left, uh, yeah, when yeah, we left, yeah, like we were listening. It's like for yeah. a long time. He has he hasn't held it that flat all day, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, absolutely insane. All right, so Mike, you rode in a modern WRC car here a couple years ago with Ken. Now you've ridden in a, a 90s WRC car. What do you think, man? It's impressive, man. Like, freaking heads <laughs> off the block, man. Like, and yeah, obviously the scene, the car. That's um, it's incredible way how stable, just totally different than the WRC. Yeah, it doesn't have the, quite the power delivery, you know, so it doesn't want to oversteer and slide the way that the car does, but it, it's got good grip. and hooks up and goes to the point. Dude, that grip was insane. And going from this fine like shingle into that rough stuff, like yeah. it didn't even feel the difference. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a fun little stage though. Oh, I need to jack one of my freaking drift cars up <laughs> with some ride height and put some rally treads in there. Right? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised with roads that good that you've never actually Dude, had a rally car, man. 15 minutes from my shop, man. Like, like what, are you, what are you doing? You got everything oh, else. Yeah, you literally have everything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I need to get the key. Oh, I was supposed to meet I need, up with I need ben to cut that key that you've got to get into this place. <laughs> yeah. All right, so first uh, official gravel test complete. New Zealand, Ken, how was your day? Uh, it was really good, but uh, cut slightly short because uh, we lost six gears. That's actually quite unusual for uh, this gearbox and diff setup, but uh, team's going to take it back, get it fixed tonight, and we have uh, a full day of testing tomorrow. So. Uh, 